Hello everyone, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to this tutorial series on setting up your Mac. So uh, if you guys are programmers or if you're looking into getting into the programming space, um, obviously we all have different ways that we set up our computers, but I'm in the very rare position right now where I have uh, reformatted my Mac. So this is basically as if my Mac was new and I'm gonna have to install a whole bunch of things right from the beginning again. So I thought that I might as well just make a tutorial series on this so anybody else who's watching and anybody else who's interested um, can see the way that I set my computer up and all of the tools that I use. So uh, right now, uh, the first thing I actually wanna do, obviously after installing Google Chrome, because that's literally all I've done on this computer so far, is to also install something called Brews. I'm gonna go over to brew.sh, which is uh, Homebrew's website. And uh, on the homepage, they have this command over here that you can copy and paste into your terminal and that's going to install brew on your onto your computer. Now if you guys don't know what brew is, kind of says so right here, it's the missing package manager for Mac OS. So what this does is it just allows you to install other software on your computer via the command line. Um, and there are a couple examples down here. I know that I'm gonna be using Brew to install PHP and Laravel Valet and a whole bunch of other tools, um, but uh, it's not obviously limited to that. You can also install things like Firefox directly from the command line. Uh, so yeah, it is a really awesome tool to have. And uh, as a developer, definitely something that uh, comes in handy. So uh, now that I've copied this uh, command, I'm gonna open up my terminal. So I'm using uh, just the default Mac terminal for now, but the next step of this process, I'm actually gonna switch this terminal out for something else. Uh, but anyway, just so that uh, you guys can see, I'm gonna make my text nice and big here, paste that command in and hit enter. And this is going to um, just tell me what Brew's about to install. So there's a whole bunch of things that are about to be installed on my computer and I'm okay with that. So I'm gonna hit enter. I'm gonna have to put in the password for my computer, which also just changed. Uh, so, okay, I think that one was right. <laughs> Uh, so this is going to start downloading, downloading and installing Brew and this whole process uh, obviously also depends on how fast your internet is, but uh, this could take up to uh, 10 minutes. So I think what I'm gonna do is just stop the video here and I'll come back once it's done. Alrighty, so uh, I'm back and Brew has been installed. So uh, yeah, I basically uh, had it finished at uh, this screen over here. So it said installation successful and now you can run brew help to get started. And I actually ran that brew help command. Uh, so if I just run that again, uh, basically this is going to just give us a list of commands that brew is able to perform for us. So the one that we're gonna use most often is brew install and then the formula, meaning uh, whatever app or uh, software you're trying to install on your computer. So brew install PHP will install PHP and so on. Um, yeah, so this is quite uh, quite useful and um, I often use uh, install and update quite a lot. I don't really use the other commands all that much, but it is quite um, great to be able to install software via the command line. So now that we know how to do that, um, I think I can actually end the video off here, but you know, if you guys wanna do a little bit more research as to what you can actually uh, install from Homebrew, you can start typing in uh, packages like Node or something like that and see if they're actually in Homebrew or not. And that is the end of the video. So if you made it this far, there's a couple things that you can do to help me. First of all, subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment saying something nice, hopefully. Share this video with your friends because all of that stuff is gonna help my channel grow. And I'm also feeling a little lonely. So don't forget to follow me on social media.